Welcome to the Fleet Watcher video training series. In this video, we will cover adding equipment to your equipment list. Navigate to Manage, Equipment, Add Edit Equipment. Click on the green box, Add New Equipment. When accessing the Add Edit Equipment feature, you will encounter the standard screen typically displayed. It is important to note that the Asset Type functionality plays a significant role in this process. It dynamically alters all associated fields. For off-road equipment, a distinct set of information will be presented. On-road equipment will yield a separate set of data. Additionally, small tools is a subset of those categories. The required fields will be noted by an asterisk. Equipment types can be added under Manage, Equipment, Add, Edit, Custom Equipment Types. The asset name is how you identify the equipment within your company. Add the manufacturer, make, and model. Most manufacturers are listed in the drop-down menu. If you find one is missing, reach out to your CSS representative and they can add the information for you. Select the company name that owns the equipment. You can add additional companies under Manage, Company, Add, Edit, Companies. Set the status to active, then click Save. When a paver is selected under the equipment type, the feet per minute non-paving threshold will appear. This is the speed at which the paver will reposition itself and will be omitted from the KPI calculations. On-road equipment has an IFTA option. Use this to track miles driven in each state. The UDF fields can provide more details about your equipment. Rename the UDF fields under Manage, Company, Edit Information. The small tool has an option to Attach To. This will allow you to associate a bucket to an excavator. For more information about this feature or other features within Fleet Watcher, please contact your CSS representative today and schedule a training.